Good day everybody. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Rex. In this video, we're gonna run the quad track again. This is the second time I'm running the quad track in the snow. The first time I ran out in the snow, I had the dust cover on, I had no fan on the motor. I put it in wet, uh, fresh snow. So it was very heavy as I was pushing the truck against it. If you haven't seen the video, it's the video, maybe a video before this or a couple videos before this, I'm not sure yet. But I'll be running it again today with a fan on the motor, no dust cover, and a 3S, uh, motor, uh, 3S battery. So hopefully I'll get some more wheel speed um, or track speed. It's not like it needed it because I did put it through really high, wet, fresh snow, like I said. And today the snow has settled and it's hardened because it's colder now. So we should be uh, able to run it on into more fair conditions based on what it is. I did not run it fairly and I feel a little bad because I didn't represent the vehicle very well. So let's try again today. And if you're interested in hearing the thoughts I have on driving this vehicle, I'll have that at the end of the video. So stick around if you want to hear any of that. Okay, let's go. Okay, everybody, so that was really fun. 
I, uh, I was actually able to run through two battery packs uh, filming and playing before I uh, got to this video here. This is a third battery pack inside of it. It'll probably die soon. They're very small packs. I was only able to use or fit my uh, flight packs in here. Anyhow, it's, uh, it's really good now in terms of fun. Nothing seems to be heating up, but I don't know how the tracks are gonna hold up to the speed. It's not that fast. I mean, let's give it a go here. There you go, as you see, it's not fast at all. But on, on more fair terrain, like hard packed snow, it's got zero problems going anywhere, as you can see. Uh, in the powdery, deeper stuff, it still gets, it still gets a lot of resistance built up, but nothing close to what it was the last time I uh, drove this thing. It was just way too wet and way too soft for me to be driving at that time. But now, as you can see, it's... Uh, Yeah, this is awesome. I need to get batteries that are a little bit bigger. Oh, I'm stuck. Come on. Uh-oh, I think it's all mud over there. I'm going to check it out. Anyway, that's good. I have nothing else to say about it. This, there was no problems this time. Other than the battery's not lasting long enough, uh, I ha I'm having a blast with this thing on 3S with a 35 turn axial motor and a Hobbywing 1060 waterproof ESC. I sprayed the tracks in the track section down with WD-40 before running out, coming out here. That way it displaces all the snow and whatnot that gets built up there. So here is, that's it for the second run officially in the snow. And I'm very happy with uh, 3s in here it gives it enough wheel speed i don't think a 2s was good enough for for what i was doing so it doesn't look like i have to spend any money on a new system and i can continue to play with this uh, a couple of you guys had mentioned in the last video the comment section that what i had done in the last video was quite scale and i shouldn't expect too much more uh from 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 it but uh you're, you're right, you're right. I wasn't really expecting much more in those conditions. What I was expecting was performance like today's video, but I was in the wrong condition in the last video. So it's not the truck's fault. The truck is actually really good uh, for, for the condition I put it in today. It's quite, quite fun actually. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue playing with it without the video. Yeah, see you guys. Take it easy, peace out.